All right, Matt. So second place today in the U.S. Championship. Uh, what was the overall feel? I mean, how different was it from Chicago? Um, you know, I I actually felt a little worse today than I did in Chicago starting out for for at least through the first half. I felt a little worse, but it was hilly um, going through the downtown loops. You know, which was something that was drastically different from Chicago. But we've been preparing for it a lot in Flagstaff, so I knew the hills were going to be there. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to see the course beforehand. I was supposed to come out a couple weeks ago and got the flu that weekend, so uh, we weren't able to make the trip. But, um, you know, I think I was just as well not having seen it beforehand. I, I didn't know it was coming. I just kept hoping for those downhills. So, and the last couple miles were all downhill. I think that really helped kind of keep my mem momentum going. And that was a big difference from Chicago because in Chicago, I crashed the last few miles. So <laughs> it was nice to... Uh, finish feeling much stronger than I did in Chicago and um, to have a more positive experience overall. The first thing that happened was Ryan takes off with the international runners. What was going through to your head and the rest of the American field? Was there conversations like, just let him go? Or Yeah, we definitely talked about that early on. Uh, we had a count of how many people were out fast, how many Americans were out fast, and luckily they were all wearing fluorescent shirt, fluorescent uh, singlets, so we could kind of pick them out pretty easily. But you know, our race plan coming in, my teammate Scott Smith and I, we just kind of wanted to run conservatively and let anyone go who was going to be trying to take it out hard. And um, I think we caught back up to Ryan around halfway yep. or 14 miles, some, somewhere around there. Yeah. Um, you know, and we kind of knew that that was going to happen. We just wanted to respect the course and respect the weather. And um, we were just kind of racing for the championship uh, experience and, and uh, not really looking for a time today considering the heat out here. So I think all things considered, we, we ran a conservative race and it, it paid off for us. How bad was the weather? You know, it wasn't too bad. I didn't really start to notice it until later on. Um, I think we were all being pretty proactive throughout the race and even between all of our elite fluid stations, we were all grabbing waters off the side and we were kind of looking out for each other. Uh, Danny Tapio was with us for a long while and he missed one of his bottles so we were kind of Jared and I were just sharing our bottles with him just you know trying to encourage the American field to stay together as long as we could and um, you know just foster that positive environment for between us um, but honestly it wasn't as bad as I think we all thought it might have been so as this uh, well first of all how was the course I mean this is it's gonna be something similar next year it's just a criterion course where there'll be a bunch of loops around downtown but LA overall, I mean, they're gonna push it back maybe a month so it's not as hot. Uh, but what'd you think of LA just in general? I liked it actually. I, I kind of liked, I mean, as, as hard as the hills were, I kind of liked having having them in there. You know, the undulations help to kind of keep you engaged mm -hmm. in the race. They keep you focused. And um, with, a, with a course like Chicago, you can kind of just zone out and you get stuck in one rhythm. And then um, it's nice to run a flat, a flat, fast course as well, but it's kind of nice also to have that change you know, change of uh, elevations and um, kind of mixes up the terrain a little bit and, right. and uh, levels out the playing field a little bit. So what happens next after this? I mean, let's say Jared passes on the U.S. championship spot. I think I, I talked to Ben and he said, probably not going to touch Beijing uh, for, for the summer if, if, if you were handed down that spot. So is that, would you also take a pass on that uh, world championship? Um, I think so. I mean, hey, nice shirt. We were, uh, yeah, I think, I think I would probably pass on it. Um, you know, after going into Chicago, I, I really was intending to have that be my only marathon before the trials. Um, and obviously that was a little bit of a sour experience for me. So we wanted to just get in another effort and we thought that coming here to LA would be a good option. Um, so, you know, looking, looking into the rest of the year, I'll probably after this do a uh, kind of a speed segment, work on my 10K, 5K speed, work on my efficiency a little bit, um, and break up the marathon training, and uh, you know, then just do a summer of short races and then get into big mileage and um, prepping for the trials. So how does this set fall. you up for uh, for trials? I mean, where do you kind of see yourself after this performance? How much work do you still have left to do to be a contender for those? I mean, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, I think this is definitely a good stepping stone for me to get there. Awesome. Well, congrats, uh, Matt, on the second place finish. All right, thanks.